The Caribbean Digital Transformation Project has dispensed approximately US $200,000 for the rollout of 20 smart classrooms within selected primary schools around the island. Information Systems Manager with the Ministry of Education, Joshua Vernal, reinforced the many opportunities this technology will facilitate for both the teacher and student. We are here to conduct some training, our smart school, smart rooms training. The whole idea is that we're hoping that um, we can now infuse or continue to infusing um, technology in education to make the, the classroom setting a little more interactive so we could better reach some of our students who might not really enjoy the, the, traditional, the traditional chalk and talk. The Smart Classroom Project incorporates deliverables such as the purchase and installation of equipment, the supply of furniture, and now has commenced the Train the Trainer component with teachers from selected schools where the smart classrooms are installed. Francilia Solomon is a project coordinator for the Caribbean Digital Transformation Project. The training here today is to ensure that the smart classrooms do not become white elephants, that the teachers at the respective schools have competence in the use of these smart classrooms, that there be maximum benefits of the smart classrooms to the students. 20 teachers from the north of the island benefited from hands-on training at the Dame Pullet Louisi Primary School, while another 20 teachers from the south of the island received similar training on the use of the smart classroom at the Bons La Grasse Primary School in Labry. It is a project's intention for the smart classrooms to be fully functional by the next academic year. And so with that goal, it is our intention to provide training, support and hand-holding to the teachers until they are competent and capable to fully utilize the system to deliver online learning to the students of not only these schools, but also um, others in their vicinity. The COVID-19 pandemic brought to the fore the need to transform the traditional classroom into a more technological environment, incorporating digital tools for greater student engagement and effective learning. Everybody wants to touch, they're excited, miss what is this, what's going to happen here, um, will we be using it? Teacher at the Millet Primary School, Mary George, relayed the excitement of the students to the new technology and her expectations of the training provided on the use of the smart classroom. I must admit that I am very impressed with the transformation so far. Even the this, this smart classroom happening now, when the students come in, they too are eager and excited to be part of what's happening. So I know that it is going to bring a new methodology, way of teaching, way of students interacting, and we're all eager to see what's going to happen. Out of the training today, I expect that I will be, will get the necessities to be able to use the equipment that we've been given because it's quite a bit and it will really mean that I have, I must have the skills to be able to use it. The OECS Commission also facilitated the smart classroom training. The Caribbean Digital Transformation Project previously donated to the Ministry of Education 2,100 tablets for grade 6 students and 2,100 laptops for Form 1 students. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.